Thank you to the administration, to the custodial staff, and the other staff members who helped me. This evening, I want all of you to know all the aisles in the house are being used. So if there's an emergency and you need to step out, please just be mindful that the actors are coming in and out of this door. So these two doors are for the performers only, and those two doors right there are for, for the audience. Okay, so just please be mindful if you need to go out. The less traffic in and out I would be preferred for the show. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the show and enjoy the journey of The Wizard of Oz. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
This better work. My name is Flair by this. The two small to scare the crows off, so he can catch his big truck of a pole to the ground. Maybe you should have given it a scarier face. The crows will probably all think and want to make friends. Quite like a silly grin. <laughs> oh, anyway, here goes.
But first, I do need to sleep. Of course, no follow to me. We can keep watch together. Thank you, and good night again. How did you work so badly? I know we're rather stupid, but I didn't even know there were creatures entirely made of tin. It's all because of love. That's why I do anything for a heart, because I long for happiness. That's worth more than grace to me. You rusted for love? No, I rusted because I got caught in a rainstorm. I'm confused. I know, it's coming out wrong. A little more old, please. Thank you. I learned to be a witch up from my father, and when I was grown, I fell in love with this handsome Winston boy who loved me back. What bliss it was to feel loved. But he lived with this old woman who wanted to keep him all to herself, so she had someone to cook and clean for. When the woman wanted my attention, she asked the wicked witch of the East to prevent the marriage. The wicked witch enchanted my eyes, so one day, as I was chopping around for a house, my eyes slipped and cut off my leg. Did it hurt? A little, but I went to his business and he fixed me a nice new one. This angered the witch, and so as I began chopping again, my eyes slipped and cut off my other leg. I had a new one made, and then my axe chopped off first one arm, then the other, then it chopped clean in two. Whoa! The tin just fixed me every time, but I no longer had a heart, and no longer worried whether or not I married the Munchkin boy. He still could be waiting for me, but without a heart, what could I do? Poor boy. One day, I was so busy chopping, I didn't notice the sun start, and I didn't think to stop as the rain started popping down. By the time I noticed, it was too late. I had many months to think about what I had lost and resolved that if only I had a heart, I would know love again and be happy because I was never as happy as when I was in love. Don't cry, no rest. Here. Thank you. I didn't think the witch had the on good people finding me. I've never been a witch, but I think Dorothy has. Are you guys talking about witches? I just felt the scarecrow how the witch witch of the East put me in this predicament. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, you see. I'm wearing her shoes. What? When I landed here, I killed the wicked witch of the east, and the witch of the north came with me. You must be a very powerful girl. I imagine the great Oz would do wonderful things with you, but that's those shoes. We'll never know unless we get there, and I don't think I'll be able to sleep another way. Everyone ready? Lead the way. To the Emerald City! We're out to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Maybe so. 
you to consider yourself lucky. Because to prove you have heart. I have no heart, so I can't have heart. Well, maybe I would have courage if I didn't have a heart. Do you have a brain? I never look to see. I'm going to the Emerald City to ask God if he can give me some. I have a <coughs> your heart, and Dorothy wants to go home to Kansas. If he can do all those things, then he can give me courage? You never know unless you ask. It might be nice to have you around to off all the other wild beasts. Quite right. And if they run off, it's something they're more cowardly than you. Perhaps. But I guess that makes me no braver. As long as I feel cowardly, I will always be unhappy. We should keep moving. The little light we have will be gone soon. Did you hear that? What? Probably nothing. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. What about that? Would you relax? Sorry, it's just that we're entering the part of the forest where the colleagues live. The colleagues? No one's panicked, but I think we're being followed. B by what? I can see something, but I can't tell if it's a tiger or a bear or a... It's the colleagues! Run! The claws are lying up! They're ripping it out! <laughs>
mandate. They're all locked up for also order back when the city's first built, and I have the only key to unlock it. Everyone stop? Please follow me. Wow. I've only seen emeralds in pictures. They're everywhere here. I've long heard the riches of the emerald city, but never dreamed of such brilliance. <laughs> a person could likely do great things here with a brain. I like the city immensely. Roar! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Stop being a witness for me until Ozzy were present, although I should have been aware of your journey for some time now. Why didn't you help us immediately then? Do not ask such foolish questions. <laughs> what did your wish? These strangers demand to see the great Oz. Step inside, take a step I will carry my I must leave you here. Good luck to you if you see the wizard. Consider yourselves very lucky. Most of us have got our whole lives out to the tournament. Thank you for your help. There are two advantages of being made of tin. I can't do them at all. Shh! Someone's coming. Here they are. Such a curious group. Hey, we can hear you. Are you really going to look upon the face of Oz Terrible? <laughs> of course, but why is he called Terrible? You will see. He is all things. And none. Huh? He will see you, but it's not like the act. I hear to some of her shoes that are getting them in. I hear to Marco Lego's forehead. Do you know what you'll see in the snow? Of course not. We've never been here before. They don't know? Poor dear. The terrible odds can appear as many things. No, I don't like this. I heard he seems to see some beautiful ladies. Oh, well, I can handle that. Ah, but I heard he is a ball of fire! So hot. I can't abide fire! After the great out of the that the wife said was most attached to terrifying. If none of you have ever seen it before, then how do you know these things? Rumors. Suspicions. Keep your hands. There's no reason to. Hey! We're not suggesting that at all. Just remember what you want and how much you want it. We will. Just let us alone. We <laughs> all can see you now. She must enter in darkness. Uh, afraid of everything. 
and I, I beg the purge so that I may truly become the king of thieves. And you don't have to ask why, because you already know that you alone are the only one to grant this wish. I see that I will ask the door for each of you, and I will give you all my answer. You have no right to expect me to give you all the things you desire, unless you do something for me. In this country, everyone must pay for everything that they receive. If you wish me to use my magic powers to send you home again, you must do something for me first. Help me and I will help you. What should we do? Kill the Wicked Witch of the West! We can't do that! And why not? You were strong enough to kill the Witch of the East, and you wear the silver shoes with very powerful charm. Your friends must be quite resourceful as well as you've made it this far. Why you? Enough! You know what you must do. Now leave me. I will see any of you again until your task is completed. Strange 
are coming closer and closer. Now, my pretty cap, you have helped me twice before, and I must summon the monkeys for my final wish. Ancient curse of Kailala, let the jokers come. With wings made wild and the minds of the child, the golden cap summons you!
Saturday night and in that old room in the castle. I can hear the bats flying around the rafters and the witch stopping around in her old room. I wish I could bring you more to eat than people scraps. I'm so very glad that you can keep me company. Otherwise, I'd be very bored and very hungry. I still haven't thought of a good plan yet. Killing the witch scares me so. Me too. And I miss the scarecrow and his women so terribly. Don't worry, Dorothy. I'll keep thinking. And I'll keep being obedient so the witch doesn't suspect anything. Well, I better get going before the witch catches me. I'll be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Dorothy? Dorothy? You should be twice as far along with this cleaning by now?
she just didn't leave any instructions lying around. It says something inside. It says stand on your left foot first. Ancient curse of Kalala. Let the Joker's cup. With wings made wild and a mind of a child, the golden cap summons you. <laughs> Carry it there. Are you sure about this, Dorothy? I seem to remember the monkeys who brought me did so with considerable glee. We must obey the commander. Whoever possesses the golden cap, and seeing that she is your friend, who surely wants the best for you, I can assure you, you will not lose a single straw, nor receive a nick in your tin. Everyone ready? <laughs> my 
brains. I shall know everything. <laughs> what about me? Well, you have plenty of courage already. As you know, courage is shown when facing danger when you're afraid. That courage you have plenty of. You're not trying to back down on a promise now, are you? Mm, no, no. Here, put it on. What is it? Well, if it were upon you, it would be called courage. As you know, courage cannot be called such until you put it on. Birthday with courage. You are next, I suppose. If you please, I'm ready for my heart. I think you are wrong to want a heart. It makes most people unhappy. If only knew how lucky you are to not have a heart. That is a matter of opinion, and I will bear any unhappiness without a murmur. Very well. I hope this doesn't hurt. There. You have a heart anyone would be proud of. Is it a kind heart? Very. Thank you. You have redeemed yourself in mine on the line. Do not mention it. Now, what shall we do for you? I want to go home to Kansas. <coughs> well, uh, that I can't do, for I have no notion of which way Kansas lies. But I do know you have to cross the desert which surrounds the old country, and then it should be quite easy to find your way home from there. How should I cross the desert? Well, when I got here, it was by cyclone, and when you traveled here, it was by cyclone. So I suppose the best way to travel is by air. I don't have the powers to create such a cyclone, but I can build balloon. You do that? Certainly. Can I help? Of course. It has to be big enough to carry the both of us. You're going with me? Yes, I think it's high time I see Omaha again. We'll start building the balloon right away. Quadlings. Is 
she a good witch? They think so. How did I get to her package? You did not do this, but we will bring her to you. Will she like being carried? Oh, there's no need for that. Just simply ask her to come. Linda has her own ways of traveling. Oh, my child, I am so in need of my help. I'm Dorothy, and these are my friends, the Tin Woodman, the Scarecrow, and the Lion. You're gorgeous. And you look very great. Oh, well, I. <laughs> what is it you desire? I want to go home to Kansas, for all I must be worried about me. Bless your heart. Where do you find those shoes you are at The Witch of the North gave it to me when I killed the Wicked Witch of the East. So it is true. You did kill some witches. I didn't need to either time. No need to worry. You have done more than a lot of things in the right side. And you have been something out once was very precious to my family. I have. The silver shoes were once my mother. They were stolen by her by the Wicked Witch of the East when I was a small girl. And since my mother wished to protect me, she did not try to help. And even as my father grew, I was still a little bit So, you, my dear, must be very powerful. Do you want them back? Of course not. You have more use for them than I. The silver shoes could quickly carry you over the desert to wherever you want. And if you want to know the great part of the hope, you have my gone back to Kansas the first day that year. Really? But then I might have passed my whole life in a cornfield, brainless. And I would have rusted with that heart to the end of the world. And I would still be cowering in the forest till this day. I'm very happy I met all of you. But you guys all got what you desired. Now I want my wish. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the silver shoes can quickly carry you over the world to wherever you want in the world and only the time. All you have to do is put two hooks together three times and tell them where to go. Then I can return to Kansas at once. I feel so happy, sad, all of the same night. Sorry, if you Certainly. I have no use for it anymore. Thank you, Glinda. Goodbye, friends. Good luck, Dorothy. Safe travels. Remember us. Here it goes. Take me home to Kansas. Where are you?